In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God and me. Christos Anesti, Alisos Anesti. We're still in the season of resurrection and almost uh, coming to the ascension. Next Thursday, God willings, we will celebrate together the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Today, really, story uh, from the Gospel of St. John today, it is, uh, it has, uh, for me, personal uh, experience. Uh, let me tell it to you in, in, in brief. It's a little bit funny, but I learn, I learn from it. The time I came uh, to serve here in St. Mark, uh, I started to know the system, the way, uh, the GPS, uh, the way, uh, highways and stuff like that. So in the beginning of, the, of my service, uh, Abuna, uh, my father, uh, gave me uh, some names to visit and, and to give a communion. So in the beginning, I say, it's fine. Give me the address. I take the address. I put it in the GPS. And I was not knowing at all. Uh, there is many ways to reach to the address. So I say, fine. I put the address and the GPS show me the way I go. But most of the time, I take highways. And it was fearful for me to take the highways here. So I first one, I went, all the visit went peacefully. But from my side, uh, later on, I received in the mail ticket. Say, why? Because I entered to a road I'm not supposed to enter. And I came to know it's called easy bus or uh, a way to a very special way. I was not knowing that. So I asked the father, I said, Abuna told me, no, there is a small machine, you should put it in your car. And he ordered one and he got it for me. And I call it the magic, the magic uh, machine. And I said to him, even if you can, if I can go to Alaska driving, I have no fear. First time, and, and second time after the ticket, I was fear. I was fearing to go and to drive the road. But once he gave me these uh, tools, I put it in the car, thanks to God, I can drive anywhere with confidence, with no fear. Because I know this machine will lead me to bus, uh, to the easy way. Uh, or, or to the fastest way to the address which I, I bought. So it taught me today, uh, when I was reading uh, the reading of, of today, when Jesus said, I am the way, so I say, he is the, he, this is the magic word, he is the way. And he said here to us, I am the way, the truth and the life. Uh, and I was looking at the Old Testament about the same meaning. There's a lot of verses. And actually, Abu Mark was giving a sermon two days ago. And he chose, uh, I will steal from him. Uh, he chose a verse from Exodus. Uh, he gave me the ideas. So he... Uh, here is the verse, and, uh, and this verse actually is explaining that the Lord is the way, and the way, and the truth, and the light, uh, and the bread of life, all. Look at here, Exodus 13, 21. Let me read it for you, and also Deuteronomy 1, 31. Both of them explain to us 
the New Testament verses which we have heard today. Listen to that. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so as to go by day and night and i say oh this is this is wonderful verse the lord is leading the lord is the leader of the way and if you allow him to lead you will receive he will give you if you allow him to lead your way in the morning he will cover you he will cover you with a cloud and the cloud always it come and all of us we have it especially in, in summer time you find any place which is little bit cool and cloud we stand under it jesus said i am this one i am the cloud who cover you from the heat of the trial from the problem which you face daily i am your cloud i am your cover come under me and he also gave us in the second part from the verse he gave he gave he provide he cares he protect because giving it come with the light he is the fire he give a pillar of fire to protect me in the darkness to take care of me when the road is bumpy and too much upside down in the road he said i am your pillar of fire nothing can come close to you or near you i am protecting you let us see the other verse before we come to our reading of the gospel today deuteronomy 1 31 he said here let me read it for you and in the wilderness you saw how the lord your god carried you as a man carry his son in all the way that you went until you came to this place and i added for myself this place means you come to him so from these two verses exodus 13 21 and deuteronomy 1 31 he lead he give and he carry and he receive receive us at the end of the road that's why the lord today continue in the new testament i am the way i am the truth i am the life lord jesus brought uh, uh, a, a big banner on the highway the one he made by himself today as uh, St. Paul St. Paul said to us today a, a way made by the Lord Jesus himself by his flesh so before we begin the journey in the road of the Lord or the way of the Lord Jesus put some advertisement in his highway and he said to us today from the gospel of today he said let not your heart be troubled this is the first advertisement or this is the first banner or guidance in the road which controlled by god to heaven jesus said let let not your heart be troubled what else after a while he said believe in me a big partner in the road believe in me 
And also, he wrote to us, I have room for everyone. And he also wrote, I am at the end of this road waiting for everyone to receive him and to give him rest. This is very good promises and assurance that the one, the Lord of the Old Testament, is the same today and tomorrow. He lead, he give, and he carry, and at the end, he received us in his bosom. This is the way which the Lord, as St. Paul today said in our, in our first reading in Hebrew, this is the way the Lord made by himself, consecrated by his flesh. The road which the Lord prepared for us to take it, and at the end, he received us there. But there is some uh, guidance or some, some guide, guideline the Lord kept it for us to always look at it in the way so we might not divert from the road or take a wrong direction. I'm sure all of you uh, how we should behave. But from time to time, we need to remind ourselves. And today, St. Paul and St. Peter, in their readings, both for us, the reminder how to behave in the road. And more, more you drive in the road, or more you follow in this road, by time, you'll find yourself building confidence. By by time when you follow the road, you find yourself more uh, drawing near, more focusing, more your heart is full of assurance towards the end of the of the journey. Uh, from the beginning of, of this season of resurrection up to today, uh, God was preparing us to this Sunday. And he concluded and said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. From the beginning, he built our faith. He gave us our nourishment from food and from drink. And he gave us the way, he gave us the light, he gave us himself. And at the end, today before ascension, he say, I am the way. So as I said today, let me enter to the, the two readings quickly so we can see that I made a chart here, what St. Paul said to us and what St. Peter also uh, said to us today. Let me give it to you quickly because of uh, your time also. If, if you look at the reading of St. Paul today to the Hebrew, one of the important behavior or the important attitude we should have in our way to heaven, he said, have boldness to enter with the blood of Jesus. Have boldness, no fear. Why? Why no fear? Because remember, in the beginning of the road, Jesus gave a big advertisement. Do not let your heart be troubled. Don't let your heart be troubled. Means what, Lord? If you keep it in your mind, means there are things in the way it can make anyone not focusing in this verse or not focusing uh, in the word of the Lord, he will be troubled. But St. Paul gave us uh, an example and gave us a way, and he said, please have boldness. Have boldness in him. Now, what St. Peter said, I made a comparison. St. Peter said today in, in his reading, he said, be serious. 
Be serious and watchful. Yes. Be serious. How is my seriousness? And how is my alert? Am, am, I, am I alert? Or I'm not careful in my way to the Lord. Remember, the Lord waiting at the end. And he is the beginning and he is the end. So St. Peter said today, be serious and be watchful in your way. What is my way? What is the way we should have? Uh, the way uh, the way is our prayers. The way is our our repentance, the way is our closeness to God. This is the seriousness. We should take it in our, our journey. Let's come to St. Paul. So St. Paul say, be boldness, have boldness, have trust in the blood. And Peter said, be serious and be watchful the way you are taking, have some upside downs but remember jesus said do not let your heart be troubled keep this verse always in front of you saint paul say to us today in his reading draw near draw near with true heart it is also an an an, an, an uh, a lesson for us how is our heart is really our heart near to God, close to God, or not close? This is an, an, an example of uh, St. St. Peter, St. Paul, sorry, said to us here today in his reading, draw, draw near with true heart, full assurance of faith. Do we have faith that the one who began the road, he will end it with us? The one he brought us in this road, he will care for us and he will carry us and he will deliver us to his, to his kingdom at the end. Do you have faith that the Lord really caring for you, for all your details? St. Paul is reminding me, our behavior, it should be like that. This should be our attitude in the way when you are talking, when you are going to the Lord. Have face, have your heart clean. Have your heart always clean with the blood of Jesus. And this is to continue what St. Peter said. Be serious, be watchful of your life. Be careful, take care. And other things, other things St. Paul mentioned to us today in verse 23. If you are following, he say, hold fast in confession, hope without wavering, hold in his promises, hold in his promises, he is faithful. Many of us in the journey which you have taken today lost hope. I lost the trust and lost confidence. You know, St. Peter, St. Peter, St. Paul today is reminding us, be brave, be boldness. Jesus is with you in the road. Don't worry. He is carrying us. He will deliver us from all our enemies and he will take us to the house of rest. As he said, I have room for everyone. So St. Paul said to us today, be faithful till the end. Let me continue quickly. Let me go to St. Peter today. St. Peter said, have fervent love. One of the most essential tools to enjoy the Lord present is the love. Love to one another. If love is not there and you have done all things, I doubt you will make it to heaven. Love is essential. 
love is very important in this journey to the heaven because love as saint peter say cover multitude of weakness cover multitude of sin cover multitude of troubles people troubling me i trouble others and the language of of the road of the language of this journey to heaven number one is love if we don't have love we need to search our heart and we need to really examine ourselves and look why there is no love in my heart and we need to do it we need to fix these problems and also let us go back to saint peel saint paul saint paul say Consider one another. Consider one another. Steer up love also. He is focusing on this language. Consider one another. How how is our situation now at home with one another? Do I consider others? Do I consider the rest of others than me? Do I consider others in in good things before than me do i really care that other people joy other people happiness to remain in their life and to stay do i care really that everyone in my family to be enjoying to be joyful or I am a cause of trouble or a reason of problems in the house. So St. Paul today consider one another with, with love. And he said also, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, exhort one another. And this is what we should do these days. I'm sure everyone we hear news that we're almost soon, we're opening churches, soon we're coming back to our normal life, soon everyone will go free everywhere, and soon we come to church, but the Lord really in this time teaching us how, how is our assembly? Are we coming cool? Are we coming down? Is our love to God? They came down. Remember, our assembly is not just a habit. Our assembly is not just a routine. Our assembly together, it is considered as the end. The end is my end. Maybe today is my end. How I come in this meeting or this fellowship with seriousness, with boldness, with my heart, the Lord is reminding us today in the mouth of St. Paul, don't forsake our assembly, we assembly with God. Together, exhorting one another with endurance. All these messages really is uh, encouraging messages and re-adjusting our mind and our thoughts and our our feelings and our our direction uh, because when we are in the road and we forgot this uh, this chart or this system or this behavior we will miss the road let's go back to St. Peter quickly he said here minister to one another as good steward this is my duty this is my my work in my family with my colleague everywhere steward one another with good minister with good with good uh, with good ste as a good steward speak the oracle of god what is our language what's coming out building or demolishing what comes from our mouth is uplifting others or taking people down. This is the behaviors which St. Peter and St. Paul both for us. 
And today in Hebrew, St. Peter, St. Paul was actually judging himself because he knew what he did as we follow in the book of Acts. He was choosing a wrong, wrong direction. And he's taking the opposite direction. And he thought that he is really in the correct way. But he discovered, he discovered when the Lord appeared to him. That's why he said, fearful, fearful to be in the hand of God. And he knew that God is merciful and loving and forgiving. And he kept to carry him until the end, until he received him. So today, gospel, our Lord started the road with his flesh, with his body. And he said to everyone, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. The road made by Jesus. A journey made by the Lord, made by Jesus. We always, when we buy stuff, we look, we say, this is made by where? Made in where? And if it is made in, in, in one of the greatest countries, say, oh wow, this is very, this is very uh, original, not fake. Jesus is the truth, is not fake. Jesus is the only way to the heaven. And he said, let your heart not to be troubled. Why, Lord? As I said earlier, because the road has some corners, some slide up and down. No problem. Keep your eyes on this verse. Let your heart not to be troubled. Why, Lord? Because I am the way. Don't worry. I am with you. I have room for you. And at the end of the road, I am waiting for everyone. So as we have read today, St. Peter and St. Paul is encouraging us to behave. And I urge you today, after finishing the meeting together, if you have time, go back, go back to the reading of St. Paul and go back to the reading of St. Peter and mark this, this behavior or this condition of the highway to the heaven. You will find St. Peter wrote for us maybe five or six instructions and St. Paul wrote for us even more than eight, six, eight steps. Keep them and from time to time uh, revise them and remind yourself always with this instruction. Remember again, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. And remember again, as he said, I lead you, if you allow me to lead you, I will give you. You will receive a lot of protection, a lot of blessings. And as he said here, in the morning, cloud, in the evening, pillar of fire. You are protected. You are surrounded by the angels. You are surrounded by his power. And he carry you as his child. Yes, true, not as. We are his uh, children. He carry us until we reach his bosom up in heaven to the Father. I pray that this season of resurrection and the season to come of ascension and ascending of the and the sending of the Holy Spirit to the church uh, to empower us to be like the disciples to go out everywhere, every place, to show and reveal the power of resurrection and the power of the Holy Spirit, which he gave us to continue shining in the world. I believe when God closed everyone down in his home to prepare his children to be different to be different why because we became the same like other people that's why i think and it, maybe you agree with me god closed us in our home to mold and to fill our our jar our vessels 
again with his spirit. So when we go outside, we are totally different. We are totally shining. I pray that when we go outside to the mall, to the work, the church, everywhere, we should be shining. It should be different. Because God really, this time, equipped and rearranged our mind, our heart, to be as before. We are not from the world. We are from heaven. And if we are from heaven, our 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 looking or our or our behavior it should be different it should be different may God bless all of you and bless our churches and our ministry here and bless all our congregations and soon we will see each other face to face and uh, we greet each other but always Keep short distance. Uh, not short, sorry. Keep the the distance which which we should follow uh, everyone in the church. May the Lord bless all of you and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.